The first step to get the scanner is to read the trouble codes. Click Auto Scan. The scan was completed quickly and you can see that there are no trouble codes. Tips. If a trouble code is diagnosed, you can try to clear it first, then turn off the engine, restart, and diagnose again. If there still have trouble codes, the car may have malfunctioned, because sometimes there are false trouble codes. It's also important to note if any other warning lights are on, or if the engine is making unusual noises, running poorly, steaming, smoking, or otherwise showing obvious signs of trouble. Okay, then, continue to operate NT634. And I have to mention that it supports all OBD2 modes. And NT634 also has an important function, you can see accurate life data. One tip, I suggest that you select the complete list to view all the data, save the data when the car is normal, and check it again after the car breaks down. At this time, you can compare the data and observe what is wrong. Okay, we can see a lot of very useful information through live data, like this. Engine coolant temperature and coolant sensors resistance changes as the temperature increases. If you don't see a change in the resistance as the engine warms up, or the resistance is out of specifications, the sensor is bad. Here have a lot of data, sensor data, engine RPM, RPM is the engine speed, throttle position, intake air temperature, these data can help us analyze the problem of the car very well. And you can use a graph and then observe and compare the sensor waveform. This can help you detect abnormal signal problems. Click F2 and F3 to view and combine graphics. And here you can see that there are many test functions. Freeze frames, O2 sensor test, onboard monitor test, component test, and about component test. You can detect different components and test their operability. And if you don't know the ECU name and card information, don't worry, it can tell you. DTC lookup, you can use this to query the basic meaning of the code. As shown in the picture, there is a description of the code. But here I recommend you a great website. This website has collected many common trouble codes. Most of the codes can be found. Just give it a try. P0306, this is a misfire code. You can see there are explanations. Common symptoms, the best is there will be repair suggestions and some technical experts video. In addition to the important engine system, NT634 can also also read the data of this three systems, ABS, SRS and transmission, click to read code, clear code and check live data. Click auto VA and you can see that there are four options, so just click and see. Click the first one, Electronic Transmission Management. Here you can read and clear transmission quotes. Let's check the live data. You can see that it can display real-time transmission data, including gear ratio adjustment, speed change, clutch adjustment. Each can click to view the corresponding data. The operation is the same. You can read and clear the trouble code about ABS, brake and SRS, and about ABS problems can be deadly as they can get your car to skid and trip over if the road is wet or rough. If your ABS light is on, use a professional scanner can find and fix the problem. And sensor and wiring issues can cause the ABS light to come on. Now let's take a look at what data it can view. While looking at the scanner, I would also like to hear your opinions. Generally, we will take videos of one or three scanners every month. You can check our website to see if there are products you are interested in. Leave a comment, we will take every suggestion seriously. In this control module, you can diagnose by driving part, chassis and body parts. Alright, let's see the special functions. These are some very useful reset functions, such as this one, oil reset. This function is usually used after repairing the car or changing the oil. You may find that the oil light is still on. At this time, you can use NT634 to reset the oil light yourself instead of handing it to the mechanic. The usage of all special functions is to select the model first and then follow the instructions. After replacing
placing the injector. The new injector needs to be coded, and with this function, you can write a new injector number to replace the injector number previously programmed into the ECU. If you want to learn more about each special function, you can check it on the O2C website. If you encounter a problem that is difficult to solve, we still recommend that you print the stored data by connecting to a computer, find a professional technician, and then give the data to them. This will not only save time, but also let you understand the approximate problem. So to avoid being deceived by some technicians. This device supports 13 languages. For updates, you can check the video I posted before. Having said so many functions, you must want to know whether NT634 supports my car. You can go to the website to check the car list or comment below. We will reply to each comment.